Hello there. So, the Avengers are back together, or most of them are back together. We've recruited most of the crew. There's a few left that have yet to join the group. We need to do that recruiting. We need Tony Stark and Captain America to travel around the world. I mean, Baltimore, and recruit the rest of them. But there are a couple of higher-ups that, you know, might prevent that from happening. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Ellie Moses, a 24-year-old law and film student here from Sydney, Australia. Absolutely shooting his shot. And today, we are up to episode 5 of The Wire Season 2. This one is titled Under Row. I'm going to get into the reaction. Let's waste no more time with this thing. Let's absolutely smash it. Let's go. Ziggy, I can see that jacket from a mile away. Work in the corners. Ain't but 290 here. God damn it, Frog. When you work a G-Pack for a guy, a kickback's supposed to be 500. Stash got hit, yo. I ain't hearing that shit. I want my fucking money. Okay, that's how you want it? Fine. But when I roll back past here tomorrow, money's gonna be right. Or you gonna see. I'm gonna see who you fucking with. I look like a fucking punk. Deep. Ziggy is the type of guy that physically. Yo, shorty, give me a snap <laughs> on a bag of crab chips from the corner. Physically, he won't do nothing to these guys, but he might carry some, you know. Is that Method Man? <laughs> Yo, new favorite character unlocked. <laughs> Is it? Oh man, they ripping the two thousand dollar jacket. I know it did. Ooh, he gonna give him that Amazon same day delivery death. Sorry, next day delivery. Damn, knee hustled the Kamara as well. Fuck you! They used to make steel there, no? Spiros von that. <laughs> Why me? You don't want the post it? I'll take someone else. Valtry gave me the pick of his district. I'm not saying I don't want it. Another Avenger recruited, potentially. I'm asking why you would choose me after what happened last go round. Yeah, I thought about that too. <laughs> Looking down that list of names on the southeastern roster, I'm saying to myself, why take a man who already burned you once? Who already proved himself disloyal? Now, why would I do that? Because if I caught him once, <laughs> he might be the last son of a bitch to try it twice. <laughs> and I'm guessing you got enough shame on you from the last time so that it won't happen again. <laughs> no, sir, it won't. One other thing. As far as I'm concerned, those stripes on your sleeve aren't earned. Your paycheck may say sergeant, but on this detail, Detective Greggs runs your team. Same as it ever was. <laughs> you gotta take your licks, man. You gotta take your licks. Hey, at least the office is a little bit upgraded from last time. At least we're not working below the courthouses. <laughs> I 
We actually got closed offices. <laughs> well. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Damn. Eric should be a defensive end. I raised him on a radio. He's on his way in right now. Appreciate that, officer. Nice day. Summer Silver for Fitty. Top of the line right here. <laughs> Over there. Hey, anything with steel or copper or metal. You best believe that Bubbles is one of hustling it. <laughs> no, Bubbles. Melty the sailor man, huh? That's a fun. Here. Stick that on that uh, thing there, will you? The cleat? Ain't you nothing? <laughs> That's a neat callback to like two episodes ago when McNulty didn't me, tie the knot properly. <laughs> something way the fuck wrong with this picture. <laughs> what the hell is that? See? All the more not. <laughs> he didn't know how to do it two episodes ago, and Bob's called him out this time. I don't know, but it's never the same thing twice. They said you could reach me at this this number if you leave a message. Good work, Bob's. <laughs> As always, here. Cab fare. I know. I find it a bit low yeah. that. No. McNulty just gives Bob's money for his work like that. I don't know, like. A little county caper. I got, I got, I got to think that you know, you need to think about what it was you had me endeavoring to accomplish. I mean, what the fuck, man? I'm not, I'm not out there asking about no random ass who give a damn nigga. I go at him respectable. He put that goddamn shotgun in my face, man. I'm looking at two goddamn tools with a hobbit tunnel standing right at me. Each one about yay big. Yeah, and they pissed in my pants, man. He gonna stand there smiling like this shit is funny. Ain't funny. Nutty, I know I'm, I know I'm paying taxes on some things. I gotta believe this is more aggregation than group work bubbles and a little bit of this. For your pains. Where are we at with the Jane Doe's? Money doesn't gonna solve hard, everything. The port. We're gonna drop a grand jury summons on every stevedore who worked the ship. Keep rattling cages. How's the port police bro working out for us? She knows the docks okay. No detective, though. In that case, you need someone fresh. Cole, maybe, Massey, whoever's up. You need to get your ass over to the southeast and today you're detailed temporarily. Yeah, there's oh, no Colonel. way he was mentioning McNulty. Colonel, respectfully, did you just fuck me over without giving me even half a chance to clear this case? <laughs> Let's be clear, Detective Freeman. When I fuck you over, you'll know it. You'll be so goddamn certain you won't need to ask the question. And you, Detective Moreland, are now all alone with 14 red names. That's so dog, man. <laughs> How's it feel? What a prick, honestly. And the parking pad in the rear is invaluable for federal health. The deck has a harbor view? Yes, in two directions. Go on up, take a look. I think you'll Wait, is that McNulty's wife? Doing the real estate? Say federal health. This particular house. It's my Aunt Treasy's. Really? Your my parents? word. Uh, is she a relation Baltimore to City is dogs? small. <laughs> She's a relation to me. Well, I can't say for certain, but one just like it in the 1200 block sold for 340 last week. 340, huh? That's a lot for back then, and USD too. Yeah. Hey, what are you thinking about with the BMW, well, here man? Because Valchuk wants us here. Because he believes this man and his down at the heels union local has too much money. Find out where the port folks like to cop on a Friday night and set up some hand-to-hands, maybe a reverse or two. Well, a lot of these poor guys are white, aren't they? I mean, some of the Southeast street dealers, too. So that means you're going to need a white boy to go down to the <laughs> Southeast corner, right? <laughs> so keep a cob on the rooftops. It's my time to find show you how it's done, Holmes. Hey, yeah, you ain't going to put a white boy in the pits last season just rocking up. Yeah, see, now, now the roles have changed. The roles have reversed. You get the white boy down with the poor people. <laughs> Cool, Lester, smooth. Hey, oh, what's that, Jay? <laughs> same fuck ups in the same shit detail working <laughs> in the same shit house kind yeah. of office. You people lack for personal growth, you know that? It's a temporary poster. Roll That's right, they said last episode about Lester watching. being reassigned. Last night, look, I was high in a shit list. Oh, then we did you a favor. I wouldn't go that far. But fuck it, who we chasing? <laughs> 
Frank Sabatka? How fucking good is he? You know the man. Me and Buck Warner were fucking with this guy last week, working that case about those dead girls in the container. See? You suspect? I talked about last episode about the potential cases intertwining with one another, and here we go. It's going to be part of a bigger picture. They might, you know, Bunk is going to gain the information of these guys. These guys might give information to Bunk. And you might, can't they just make it a joint case or is it different sort of like jurisdictions or like separate type of cases? You know, one's going after Frank Sabotka and the money, I believe, or like the drugs that they're going for. And then obviously the other one's the homicide with the dead girls. But is there a way they can, I'm guessing the police force can connect it into a larger thing? Not exactly. Just someone who know what dirt's getting done down on the port terminals. Why are you guys on it? Because my father-in-law hates his guts, which in the southeastern <laughs> goes for probable cause. <laughs> Belichick thinks he has too much cash. So you're thinking drugs? In this fucking town, what other crime is there? You don't know. Uh, you know I would have been down here sooner. It's just... It's I was too busy effing Stringer. But D, I got everything we need paid for. Why you be like that? Throwing them off when they looking to do for you. Darnette, they playing you with that. We family and it's all about love. That's how they do. When they got no more use for you, that family shit disappears. It's just about business, Darnette. D, they're gonna be there for us. That's one cute ass baby, man. I know Sony got that check. But Ferg said it ain't shit. Nah, I ain't say that. Oh, damn, man. Hey, yo, that's enough. Yo, let that shit be. So now we beating niggas ass over speaking the truth. I ain't hit him. <laughs> you can't tell these fools nothing. We stomping niggas over bullshit, man. Somebody got to pull a stringer up on this. If I had had a gun, I swear to God, I would have capped every one of those motherfuckers. You call the cops? You can't. It's over some dope. You bought a fucking package, didn't you? Didn't you? That's his problem, man. That's his problem. He owed money. Like, he, he got himself into that mess. You 2700 So? Your drug dealer can sell some fucking drugs. You fucked up the package, didn't you, Zach? Give me the money. They're gonna kill me. I gave my money to Amy for an apartment. Security deposit and some furniture over at Little Pages. Nice. How they sending the family up? I ain't got it for you, Zig. Why don't you ask Dolores? Hello, you need a shot, and it's on it's on Frank. <laughs> He'll give you twenty seven hundred. Yo, he getting he he. <laughs> he opening the mail with gloves now. <laughs> Yo, truck in San Diego. Oh, that's why he wearing the gloves. He gonna get the fingerprints. Man, if only he did this good police work outside of this thing, man. <laughs> he try-harding now. <laughs> uh, Van, um, I had a Van's on loan to the Southwest. Okay. It's on loan, all right. <laughs> Fuck with my ass, will you? Bringing us back to our old friend, supply <laughs> and demand. All right. Your research papers are here. Come on, Remember Stringer. Friday, take home test. What'd you get? What'd you get, Stringer? Well done, Mr. Bell. Oh, okay. Oh, damn, A minus. That's decent. Mr. Lucas, you got five minutes? Absolutely. Something I'm thinking about. Maybe you could help me out, but I'll try. So I got this thing going on, and we're doing these bunch of options when you got an inferior product. 
in an aggressive marketplace. <laughs> well, if you have a large share of the market, you buy up the competition. And if you don't? Reduce price to increase market share. That assumes low overhead. Of course, otherwise you operate at a loss. And worse, as your prices drop, your product eventually loses consumer credibility. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, the new CEO of WorldCom was faced with this very problem. The company was linked to one of the largest fraud cases in history. So he proposed to change the name. Exactly. Rebrand it. I, I love those little types of conversations. I love seeing Stringer Bell. Obviously, <laughs> he's doing his business economics degree and classes and he's asking, obviously, the questions that need to be answered from a standpoint, like, or from his superiors at college to obviously, you know, help him out in what's going on in the criminal world, in the game. And we know, we've heard rumors or we've heard rumblings about the product itself, how it's not the shit anymore, how there is competitors, the people, I think it was in Atlanta supplying like real weak shit. So it's interesting to see that Stringer just going to his uni lecture and just like, yo, I've done it before. Like where you have like a sort of problem outside of uni and you try and reword it to like fit within your studies. It's just, it's, it's pretty cool. Bravo. Bravo. The fuck is that? Grand jury summons. Grand jury? You lie to us, you hurt our feelings. You lie to them, it's perjury. And one more, I just dropped on your, your barbecue chef outside. <laughs> your barbecue chef. <laughs> used to be a lot more fun, you know that, Pete? That's John Spaminato right there. I got a wife and three sisters, and they got daughters. And I got too much respect for women not to be pissed off at what's in your heads right now. But of all the cans on the terminal, that's the one you lose in the stacks. We didn't know shit, goddammit! You want us to dance with a grand jury, we will! What do you say, Johnny? What do you say to any question? I take the Fifth Commandment. And if they offer you immunity to testify against your union brothers? I don't remember. Don't fifth, remember what? Fifth Commandment? Isn't a Fifth Amendment? What you're forgetting, detective, is that every IBS local on the East Coast has had its ass in front of a federal grand jury two or three times already. You want to throw your summonses? Throw them. You want to subpoena our records? Shit, you don't even need a subpoena no more. Our books have been open to the Justice Department for eight years. We're here through Bobby Kennedy, Tricky Dick Nixon, Ronnie the Union Buster Reagan, and half a dozen other sons of bitches. We'll be here through your weak bullshit, no problem. Damn, you gotta give it to Frank's outbursts. These four ain't working today. They're pretty good. You described the weapon used to kill Mr. Gant as a 380 semi semi-automatic. You provided the size and even suggested the manufacturer. Uh, Australian or one of those A countries. <laughs> no. Indeed. Indeed. And you were approximately 50 feet from the shooter? Yes, ma'am. You know, give or take. <laughs> Mr. Little, at that distance, how were you able to determine who manufactured the weapon? I wouldn't. Then how were you able to relate that information to the detectives? Barry showed it to me. He showed you the weapon before the murder? <laughs> <laughs> Which part are we talking? Barry committed more than one murder. Fish gotta swim, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I said before, Bird always off showing that thing to everybody. <laughs> Talking about this deed and the next. I ain't really paid the boy no mind to y'all came and showed him some interest. Mr. Little, if you um if you wouldn't mind waiting outside, I'd like a few words with Officer McNulty. Come on, lady, you gotta know how the game works. People flaunt their shit. Word goes around. <laughs> you gotta love how McNulty's so amused. Just reading I the magazine. Imagine the mileage Maury Levy gets out of me putting that sociopath on the stand. You gotta admit, it'll be different. Dress him up at least. I can't have him on the stand looking like that. <laughs> Here's a voucher for court clothes. Anything with a tie. Yo, please give me McNulty and Omar going shopping for a suit. Please give me an episode of that. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. It's heating up. Little baby in gunner style. 
Guy throwing down the N word. He think he's Slim Shady or something, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> who's he think he is? Do, Charlie? The owner of Death Row? Like, what the heck? I swear that the docks are actually near the water. <laughs> they don't scare them, guys. <sighs> what now? <clears throat> you ain't got no informants on the dock. Someone you could go to on this, someone you got a history with. Baltimore County, <sighs> man. Is that a Baltimore County thing or a Russell thing? Is not only as good as his informants. Not knowing how to do good police work. Meaning we ain't about much. I feel kind of bad for Russell here. Maybe she wasn't like taught the best that ways of policing. Oh my gosh, we're actually clearance rack. Oh my gosh, we're actually getting McNulty and Omar go shopping for a course. <laughs> Gangster. It's a look. No, it ain't. <laughs> okay, I can't Figure believe. It yourself. I'm going across the street to the federal building. I'll see you in about a half hour. Hey, look, man, if I ain't here, I'm around the way on Howard Street, Liddell's. Tell him you need a tie. Come on. Either that, or I'll be with Muffy at the club. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he at? He had to go get his props. 12 Where's the white boy at? Request lateral with 1210. You can meet me on 6. You have me 12 10 4 on 6. Come on, white boy. What's her? <laughs> Yo, dickhead, where you been at? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see how he gets into the pot. Let's see Herc, man. Come on. Come on, white boy. He gonna be wearing the do-rag as well? Oh, man. He actually let me down with that. Okay. I thought he was gonna look just better. Hey, what's up? You need a little hop? That be, bro. You got any real hop in here? You got the spur? Sure. All right, then we good. Going home. My niggas running back. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> Why? I, I'm dying. You copy this? It's on the props, baby. All in the, <laughs> the chewing gum, <laughs> the freaking, <laughs> the, I can't, I'm, I'm losing my word, bro. This episode's been hilarious. <laughs> the toothpick, oh my gosh, he nailed that. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but like, oh my gosh, it's actually hilarious. No, I thought maybe if you guys have, you know, been pulling in any of the women who've been over here on the circuit. Step into my world, Virginia. Yeah, we're getting all the comments. Is that a photo of George Bush right there? A grand jury. They snatched up some of our guys, drove them downtown. But you know nothing. Yeah, no shit, we know nothing. The only guy they got that even knows you had a can that day was Horse. He ain't gonna say shit to nobody. You sure? Horse is a rock. Don't ever worry about him. My uncle neither. Let's see. But... You say he wants to stop? Yeah, for a little while. He wants you to stop moving cans through our docks. At least until this shit chills. These were local police, right? Yeah. Their interest is in the girls. That happened on the ship. The ship is gone. A dead end. The Malacca they want. We already got to in Philly. Another dead end. The police are going nowhere. Everything is just business with us. You buy for a nickel. You sell for a dime. Yeah? Where have we I seen the dimes worth of fucking chemicals? Where have we seen the actor that plays Sergey or Boris? Like I've seen These him are before. These documents from just this field office. In Maryland and Delaware only. Any of them still in your custody? Love the chance to show some photos. Maybe get lucky. Uh, every one of that book was deported. You can guess some of them are already back. Will any field office have anything active? You seen what happens down at the morgue when they can't ID a body? I have. Come on, we gotta give closure to the girl's family. <laughs> it's like McNulty feels it's his hey, responsibility. How you been? Same old. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah. You getting some days? Pretty much. I'm in the tower now. Working the lanes. You, um, you wanna come in? I got, I don't know, some beers? Maybe some Bacardi around? Maybe we could just go for a cup of coffee and talk, you know? Let me get my jacket. 
Is that the guy that Ziggy was playing pranks with? Is that is that Mel? I mean, damn, he don't even know about it all, right? And Uncle Stringer is smashing your mommy, kid. I'm saying I'll get down the next weekend. Keep playing with them fire Look trucks. Me like I ain't saying shit. Say just leave him alone. You don't see strength for real. Or done that know how to burn. <laughs> Father Buck in this little man. <laughs> oh no, man. Tringer got a D problem now. Yeah. I think you know. Let's get the comedy out of the way this episode before we get into the yeah. real Fuck shit, you know. Ziggy, man. I'm about to get my ass shot behind this bullshit. We're reasonable that reason. Fuck that baby on your side of town. Let's see if he can get Princess back. What we came to talk about. <laughs> Yo, you got a lot of heart coming up in here without my fucking money, man. Right? Yo, man, we thought maybe we could work something out so you can get what's yours. How you plan to do that? You give the car back. I'll get him to sell it off. Camaro with a 350 in it. It's got to be worth more than three grand. That's right, clever. Right, clever, I got to say. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all coming all this way so much. I'm going to give the boy another week to pay. Of course, uh, <laughs> that ride ain't worth nothing near 3000 <laughs> Oh, you don't believe me? Have a look. Oh, I see the flames. I see the flames. <laughs> I saw the black smoke. I saw the black smoke. Bye-bye, <laughs> princess. <laughs> Happiness being Ziggy. You show up at my door, I'm thinking better thoughts than this. You count on that, huh? Who else am I gonna ask? Russell did what McNulty does to Ronda. <laughs> not even for you or my snitch. I'm not thinking about it like that. I'm thinking, here's a guy, and we had some times together, and even though, you know didn't get to where he might have wanted it he's still a good guy someone i could talk to about this when a lot of what you're asking about is right there for the taking how so used to be us checkers did everything with paper and a pencil right you're looking for that ci <laughs> every move on the ship we wrote it down when that ship sails and there ain't no problems and that paper gets tossed that don't happen today right Nothing gets tossed anymore. It's all on the computers. The computer. Thanks, man. Good news and bad, Zig. Fucking niggers. Bro, you Niggas got bad. You got yourself into that mess. They're still gonna kill you. They're gonna wait a week. What the fuck can be good? Cancel your car insurance. <laughs> you can tell Herc is really enjoying this. <laughs> he live in the moment. <laughs> he probably feels so involved. <laughs> He ain't taking them photos. <laughs> We're surveilling white boys now. <laughs> They're having a picnic on that rooftop. <laughs> Get the blanket up. Protect the kneecaps. Protect the denim pants. Oh, we got the toothpick on the ear now. <laughs> One more time with the toothpick on the step. <laughs> He's good, man. He's good. You know, I'll stop. Ah, yeah, Malaka. She's 
ashamed he should be to be Greek and call this a diner. Thing is, thing, what happened, happened, you know what I mean? Push come to shop. I mean, I've been fair to him, ain't I? You've been fair. Too fair. Too fair. This is Frank's place of zen, where he gets to think. <laughs> Beautiful Send shot me. right there. Fuck you and fuck him. Frank. Frank, he sent me to tell you that we're doubling your fee. To help with any legal troubles. He also told me to tell you that he regrets that you're still having problems. On our behalf. They're throwing my people in the back of police cars, and this asshole can't even talk face to face. I'm done. I'm out. I don't need nothing more to do with you people. I don't need the trouble or the money. I got a union to run. They used to make steel there, no? <laughs> Potassium permanganate. Spell permanganate. F U C K. <laughs> So you just type that shit in there and ask it for an answer? Like, let me ask you, you know? I don't give MSN. a fuck about any of this shit or thing. Wow. I mean, besides, if I don't get some money soon. Windows XP, man. Those are the days. This is where you play that pinball game. I don't know who you've been talking to, but we don't have that kind of stealing going on down here. It's not like the old days. The whistling Hello? going ham, man. Well, a little here and there, but for the most part, the new technology has changed everything. I think these officers are... Okay. I know who they are. <laughs> Frank here helped set the system up. He can probably explain it a lot better than I can, if he doesn't mind. No problem, Chief. In a nutshell, what this shows is the Aqua Verde at birth four. The plan calls for 85 moves. That's cans, containers coming off the ship and others going back on. Now, you look at the screen, you see that every time a can goes on or off, the computer creates a record and puts it in the permanent database. Listen, he plays both parts very well. He was saying that the computer makes it hard to steal off the docks. See, if he cre helped create the program, if he helped set it off, he knows how to sort of, um, you know, bypass it. He knows his way around it. He knows how to hide the cans that are, you know being stolen or used, you know, by the Greeks. That are or that are not registered. I tell you that right now we got 160 boxes missing off Patapsco Terminal alone. By the last time we inventoried the truck chassis, we came up 300 late. <laughs> no, I suppose not. That's management for you. He knows his shit. Like... Not that all of them are stolen, because you can lose a can by accident, no problem. For one thing, these handhelds use radio waves. And with all the equipment and container stacks out there, sometimes them waves get knocked down. That happens, a can don't get entered. Or just as easy, a checker makes the wrong entry, either because he's lazy, he's sloppy, or he's still shit-faced from the night before. <laughs> Look, you want to keep pulling our chain, you can. But it ain't like it's just that one box that went missing. We lose them some bitches all the time. Frank gave you everything you need? He did, thanks. They're playing us. 100%. He knows. He knows they're trying to throw him off. Drove all the way from Baltimore and I hope and any other cop might have been fooled, but bunk? Hell no. Nah. Is there anything we can offer any of them for cooperation? We could marry one of them, make her an American housewife. Short of that, they're going back the fuck where they came from. Where'd you hold them? County detention. We keep the undocumented out of Gen Pop. Y'all heard of WorldCom? <laughs> oh my gosh, he lecturing him on the case study now. This has been such a great episode. <laughs> this is so good. Uh, y'all get jacked by some knuckles, but y'all clean. Y'all got an outstanding warrant like everybody in here, and what do you do? The student becomes the master. <laughs> we give another name. Why? <clears throat> because your real name ain't no good. All right, it ain't good, and... <laughs> Pull and Bodie. All right, death grip ain't shit. You change up the name. What else? Yo, I got it. Change the caps from red to blue, right? Make it look like we got some fresh shit. Boop. Rebrand it. Rebrand it. And you know what else we might could do? Give each tower its own name, right? And then we do like some some fake competing. 
So a fiend gets some bad shit from one. Okay. He go back to the other. <laughs> There's a thinking man right there. <laughs> See, nigga, ain't that what the fuck I just said? <laughs> Stealing each other's IDs in class. <laughs> we back to school, mind. baby. Oh, man, keep that scene going. It's so good. Listen, I know it's all got to do with illegal activity. We can sit back here and call it out for the criminal, like, how illegal it is, What? how, sh like, how how wrong everything they are is doing how many people they are harming and things like that but like it, it's it's so engaging like the actors are so good it's just like this episode has been great at the having these conversations and like making sort of scenes that wouldn't be amusing be amusing for instance like mcnoldy and omar going to shop for a suit these exchanges are just so memorable in an episode that's getting through a lot i like it go no problem three boxes all of them on the Wilhelmina and you should tell your uncle it's three times the usual fee for each but I overcompensate we, uh, now we checked on those chemicals yeah. we looked into that hmm. I was worried you know Before I deliver, I want to know what you need it for. Oh, that's a no-go, bro. Bomb or some shit? I ain't down for that. You use that shit to process drugs, don't you? Cocaine. You still want it, I got it on the Fairfield Piers. No problem. When? End of the week. What did she say? She wants to know if she knows a girl, does she get to stay? Uh... What did they say last episode? Is there 50,000 unregistered women living in America, was it? Or like... For our case, we need to know who left those girls on the dock and why. It was supposed to be on Sabatka and the Czechos Union anyway. So folding one investigation into the other makes sense. Oh, oh yeah. me it doesn't. There we go, it explains now. Folding. I'm not bringing you open murders anywhere near this detail. That's a loser fuss. <sighs> Lieutenant. We bring in a few drug rips and show that we gave Sabotkin his union a quick, fair look. It's more than enough for Burrell. He returns the favor and I'm out of the basement and running an investigative unit again. You dirty me up with murders I can't solve. It doesn't play like that. Homicide is not the place to sprawl the case, Lieutenant. Rawls, Landsman, they have no patience for anything but a quick shake. We've got enough room here for it anyway. <laughs> you can sit up here at the offsite, and we can share information, but the murders stay with homicide. That might be a good contingency. You find a suspect, and then we fold it. <laughs> That's a good compromise. A good compromise for now. Told that motherfucker we were done. I told him. He said he talked to you. He said it's triple rate for every can. Triple. Not double, triple. Call horse in the tower. Tell me he's working the Wilhelmina. All right. It's now and never for us. I got no choice. Today we got ships, Uncle Frank. Today. The writing's on the fucking wall. Fuck the wall. Bam. I low-key think Frank might be an okay man, you know, like a working class individual who's just, you know, got caught up in that illegal activity, but has, you know, had enough of it. And it's gotten, I don't know, a bit too close to the prison, I think. <laughs> a bit too close to getting found out. And I think he sees that potentially the Greeks are getting sloppy, especially with what happened with 
the girls and things like that and he's not completely reassured that this won't happen again and especially with the cops nosing around um i think he potentially may sense another slip up and he just wants to protect the union he's in and he feels like that he needs to protect everyone working for him there's a lot of jobs at stake um but at the same time triple the rate does sound good and it is enticing to you know remain in the game per se but yeah that episode was actually I think it was intentionally hilarious, but I think it's preparing us for a massive sort of dramatical or a massive tonal shift. Obviously, the wire is always serious, but it's almost as if it's sometimes a little bit of a dramedy here and there um, because we've got the comedy laced in this episode, um, but I just feel like it's going to get down and serious pretty soon. Um, and it's going to be absolutely mental when it does as this season begins to pick up and it is picking up. We're five episodes deep. Um, we're nearly nearing the halfway point and I just feel like it's picking up. It keeps picking up. Um, like I said, the cases are now, um, folding over one another. Um, seeing Herc do his work is absolutely fantastic. And it's going to be interesting to see how all these storylines come together. And like I said, from episode two, from the first episode as well, I think in my reaction, I talked about um, a lot of individuals having their hand in multiple sort of crime activities in Baltimore and how they overlap with one another. So I guess we'll see how that's going to be involved. And is the east side, are they talking about Baltimore County as the east side in terms of like, you know how they're talking about where the drugs are good in, um, I think it's that guy Joe and the Jamaicans. Is that east side Baltimore County or is it is the east side in Baltimore City? So there's like Baltimore City, east side and west side. Um, and west side is where the pits are and that's where Stringer and Avon operate. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see their rebranding of their product and how that's going to go. So I cannot wait to see it all unfold. Um, I'm enjoying this season. Not as good as season one thus far, but it's, it is good. It is solid. And I hope you guys are enjoying the reactions. As always, it's been your Bully Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.